Tonight our community witnessed or experienced a very horrific crime. Many lives were lost and many more individuals were impacted by witnessing the crime. Many were saved, however, by the heroic efforts of the men and women of OPD, uh, the Sher Orange County Sheriff's Office, Seminole County Sheriff's Office. We have great, great cooperation from FDLE and the FBI, all our law enforcement agencies, fire departments from Orlando, Seminole County, and Orange County, and all of the hospital personnel that have been working through the night. We are a strong, resilient community. Tonight, we had a crime that will have a lasting effect on our community. We need to stand strong. We need to be supportive of the victims and their families. I'm going to ask Chief Bina to explain what happened. Good morning. So at approximately 0202 hours this morning, uh, we had an officer working at Pulse Nightclub who responded to shots fired. Our officer uh, engaged in a gun battle with that suspect. Uh, the suspect at some point went back in, inside the club where more shots were fired. This did turn into a hostage situation. Uh, from there, uh, obviously, multiple officers from various agencies responded. Uh, SWAT team responded uh, at approximately uh, 0500 this morning. 0500 hours this morning, uh, the decision was made to rescue hostages that were in there. Our SWAT officers exchanged gunfire with the suspect. The suspect is dead. He appeared to be carrying a uh, rifle, an assault type rifle, and a handgun uh, and had some type of device on him. Uh, that's what we're doing right now, uh, checking uh, the area for the devices. There are multiple people that are dead inside. I don't want to give anyone a number right now, but multiple people are dead inside uh, Pulse Nightclub, uh, and at least 42 people have been transported uh, to various hospitals around. So do not have an exact count. Uh, obviously, our condolences go out to the friends and family. Uh, we're going to continue uh, to work uh, with the FBI and Florida Department of Law Enforcement and the Orange County Sheriff's Office on this joint investigation. And at this time, I'll turn it over to the sheriff. Uh, thank you, Chief. Uh, while this certainly is a, a tragedy for our community, I will reiterate what Mayor Dyer said, that this community is resilient, and this is a time in which we all should come together. The Orange County Sheriff's Office uh, responded along with the Orlando Police Department to the initial incident. There were deputy sheriffs uh, involved with the Orlando Police personnel on the initial entry just after 2 a.m. this morning. In addition to that, uh, members of my hazardous device team uh, responded and have been engaged in helping to secure the scene as well. We have had as many as uh, about 100 of my personnel who have been actively engaged in this incident. I will also reiterate that this is a collaborative effort between our federal, state, and local law enforcement authorities. At this time, the Central Florida Intelligence Exchange uh, Center has been activated. That is our, our intelligence uh, sharing uh, consortium for this region. Uh, we will be working along with the FBI as well as the other law enforcement agencies as this investigation continues. Uh, again, uh, what I would say to our community is that uh, if you are aware of any of the activities that may have led up to this uh, horrific scene to uh, share that information with your local law enforcement authorities. 